Greetings and salutations. What's going on? What's popping? This is LLE Ascension's weekly wrap up. So once again, I'm taking a bye week. Um, gonna be back online, back on the channel, uh, August 29th. So it's gonna be just a week off. Yeah, you know I mean, like I say, a bye week. <laughs> you know what I mean, I've done bye weeks without even announcing bye weeks, but you know. Just in case it stretches, like I say, it's just a bye week. I'll keep you guys updated, you know, when I'm coming out. I'm going to get my Kanye West on. <laughs> really getting my Kanye West on with this shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to reconfigure this, you know what I mean? I've been doing this for four years. We're going on year five next year. January 2nd, 2022 will be year five. So, uh, this is season four. Uh... Like I say, I had a plan when I originally started this in 2018, you know, going up and just, you know, mute, went to the mute section. So I got a lot of stuff for y'all, right? Um, what I'm giving out in book form, in audio book form, in channel form, like I'm going to have uh, stations and shit, you know what I mean? So you can check me out. Just a little overall. Like I say, I'm really twerking some stuff out right now. And um, by the time I get back, um, you're going to see a few changes. Um, you're going to see a few people from behind the scenes. So, like I say, I've been solo this whole rip. I've really been trying for these four years. Really trying to get, like, a, a hand group of like, people. You know what I'm saying? To really take this step with. You know what I mean? Because obviously I can't do the shit by myself. It's just people I can't reach, obviously. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's about that time. So, <clears throat> I can introduce you to some important people that's been helping me out behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by behind the scenes is just like I say, my network, my soul group, my psychic squad, as I like to call them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some young, some old. You know what I mean? I've been waiting like to really introduce y'all to them. You know what I'm saying? I've been really trying to get my twin up in here, but you know. Gotta go in another direction, you dig what I'm saying? So, um, it's a lot gonna happen. Um, I'm anxious, but at the same time, me personally, I just got a lot going on at the moment. Also, in the midst of all this, so, um, say a prayer for the kid, because, uh, ain't nothing bad, you know what I mean? Uh, ain't no court shit, no trouble shit, you know what I mean? I ain't in trouble, um, nothing like that. Just karma, divine karma. And earthly karma. And it's just like a shit storm of karma. And it's like the perfect storm. <laughs> and it's like right on the horizon, I can see it. I'm just preparing for the storm. You know what I'm saying? Because this motherfucker going to hit. And, you know, like I said, by the time I get off bye week, I'll be crawling out. You know what I mean? And uh, once things settle in, once the dust settle, once the sunshine come out, like I said, LLE Ascension, going to get a real big overhaul. And y'all deserve it. For the people that's been around, y'all deserve it. You know what I'm saying? I've been holding out. I ain't even gonna stunt. I think that's really what the karma is all about. Holding out on my book, holding out on the deck and shit. And the reason why I've been holding out, and I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna get started. Uh, it's like my music. You know, I'm not gonna spend $5,000 to shoot a music video just to get 500 views. Like, nah, that's, that's not progress in my personal opinion. Like, you know what I mean? It's different when it's non-messages. You know, my music, you know, my insight, my books and stuff like that, like, it's a, it's, it's different, you know what I mean? Like, I need it to move, you know what I mean? I can't make premature decisions, you know what I mean? I really was waiting on 5K, I see that that's, I'll be waiting all day, trying to, trying to get it that way, you know what I mean? So, it's other me. You really understand me, you know I'm just different, okay? I don't be you see me, you, if you follow me on Instagram, you see what it is. Follow me on Facebook, you see what it is. You follow me here, you see what it is. It ain't built for all the, you know, algorithms and sharing and all that shit. You know what I mean? Like, these is messages, you know what I'm saying? But I have a created a good archive. And um, like I said, a few things I've been trying to do with y'all, I'm going to definitely do that. It's, it's, it's God. God put me in. And, and Jimmy Jams like these for uh for me to do what the fuck I should have been did. So thank y'all for fucking with me this whole time. 
Oh, man, how y'all been waiting patient for phase two to kick off, man. I'm here to tell you it's in the process. So, that being said, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, right? And uh, deals, promo, and then we will begin. Head, that's swords, thoughts, decisions, mentality, ideology. That's the direction you're going. That's the decision that you make it. You know what I mean? Um, consciously or subconsciously. Everything starts from here. Cups. Cups are feelings and emotions. All feelings and emotions are just indicators on where you're going mentally. Your heart and mind must be aligned with everything that you do. You think something, you're going to feel something from it. It's a connection. If you just feel something without thinking, it's tragic. If you just do stuff without thinking, that's tragic. Speaking of doing stuff, we got wands. What are wands? Things you're doing, things you've done. Not things you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Actions and behavior. That's what wands are. Who's the king of wands? The divine masculine. Who's the queen of wands? The divine feminine. What's the divine feminine's realm? The heart and the mind department. Cups and swords. You could tell. King of wands. Wands. Who rules the wands department? The divine masculine. Then you got pinnacles. Pinnacles are persons, places, and things. Shit, you can taste, touch, see, feel in here. All pinnacles are temporary. All pinnacles will expire. And all pinnacles have expiration dates. Last one. <clears throat> While I get the spread out. This is uh, LLE Ascension Weekly Wrap-Up. So this is like just a wrap-up on the feminine energies, a wrap-up on the masculine energies, and just a wrap-up overall. Overall message, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for this bye week, um, doing specials and uh, deals again. Like I said, they're going to stop August 29th. Like I said, when I, I kick into this new phase of this channel, things are going to be just a little different. You know what I mean? Uh, Price-wise, content-wise, you know, phase two. Phase two. So, um, $35 readings, $50 live coaching. I got four slots left for that. Take advantage. Three readings for one price. Unlimited, too. If you buy a special $35 reading, like I say, it's going to be short. Usually my short messages still come out to be like 45 minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? An hour and shit anyway. Like I be saying, I be going to be shorting up my special readings. I never do. I, I can't. Shortening shit. This is hard now. There's so much information I'm giving out. So, yeah, you get a lot for 35 You get a shitload for 50 And it's a lot you get with the life coaching. FYI, don't just come to me for relationship stuff. Come to me for some business. Come to me for some path and purpose and shit. Come to me for some self-development. Like, I can literally teach you everything that I know. I'm a fisherman that teach people how to fish. I'm not here to just give you fish. I mean, I'll take the money from the fish and shit, but, I mean, I could, I could, I could put you on, son. Fuck with your boy. <laughs> Um, and if readings get overbooked, I'll just tell you when that door closes before the 29th, but 29th, get it in while you can, definitely worth it, I ain't got nothing but time, energy, or resources to do readings, doing this, this next week and a half or so, it'll be very difficult, so taking a bye week, love y'all, fuck with y'all, but hey, <laughs> What's not going on here? First card in this message. Masculine, feminine. This deals with you both together. We got the six of swords. This is rolling with the homies. My coolest card. Rolling with the homies. What this means is it's just like the movie Clueless. In the movie Clueless, have you seen it? Okay. Everybody in the movie Clueless was clueless. The students were clueless. The parents were clueless. The teachers were clueless. All right? When it came to love and relationships, everybody was trying to figure themselves out. You got Cher here, who's a virgin, saving herself for this dream person that she's looking for, but she don't really know what she's looking for because, like I said, <laughs> given her setup and her demo and how she is and stuff like that, like I said, it took a lot of trial and error for her to really get where she needed to go to, which was Josh, her half-brother. They were in love the whole time, but that that they didn't get together to the end of the movie. Everybody didn't get together to the end of the movie, but share a story. She tried the little popular guy, he ended up throwing her out the car, she ended up getting mugged. The same person that she kind of referred Ty, you know what I'm saying, to fuck with. Thank God it happened to her, because it probably been worse if Ty was in the car in that situation, given the fact that Cher tried to put her on to him. And you got Christian, that's the gay guy, you know what I'm saying? She just, in her eyes, it's the perfect man, you know what I'm saying? Man, he's just ideal, perfect. 
And they mesh well. They got a lot of good chemistry and shit, but it's like no sex. Like, it ain't even that type of Devontae swing. <laughs> Bust her little bubble and shit. You know what I mean? She's just coming to the reality that you might have aspirations and dreams or sort a direction that you want to go with things, masculine, feminine, but the way things work out, man, love just comes in an unexpected place, and it came in the form of Josh. Let's talk about Josh. Josh was shitting on... Share the whole time, but Share was shitting on Josh too because they was just shitting on each other. Shit that twins do. And everybody's twin flames, what I'm talking about. Who is the overall energy? Josh trying to find himself too. He's trying to leave the whole high school bit and embrace this whole college shit and college women and mature women and this whole maturity shit that he looking for. Just like Share was stupid looking for the dream man, he's goofy looking for the most ideal woman. That he thinks he's looking for. The whole time, his heart is right over here. He loves the fact that Cher is the way Cher is. That she's a big ass kid. That he can be himself around her. That it ain't got to be all professional and mature all the motherfucking time. You know what I mean? They're perfect for each other. Cher and Josh. And you got D and Donald Faison. You know what I'm saying? They was beefing the whole motherfucking movie. They've been together since forever. Obviously, it's just they had a falling out. Arguments, miscommunications, he making decisions without letting her know, nigga shave his hair, she tweak on that shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she do goofy shit, he gotta deal with it. Then she's getting her license and shit, he taking her driving and shit, he got license, she don't, you know what I mean? They had a little episode on the freeway, the old, you know, sparks and old, you know what I mean? Flames rekindled and shit, and they got back cool. And then what happened at the end of the movie? They were together, as always. They were always together. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like the twin flames and separation. Cher is union. You know what I mean? D and Donald Faison, that's reunion. You know, they always part of separation. Reunion. Then you got Ty and the skater boy, Travis. You know what I'm saying? That's recognition. These are two people finding each other for the first time. Two like-minded souls coming together. You know what I mean? She tried the whole popular bit. All the people Cheryl was trying to send her with, Dee was trying to send her with, and she ended up fucking with somebody in her own lane. She was an outcast. They tried to make her someone she's not. Want her fucking with people that she shouldn't be fucking with. She came back to herself, found herself. You know, she became like the pet, and then she became like the popular person, more popular than Cher and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, more cooler, and then at the end of the day, she ended up doing her, you know what I mean, and Travis and uh, Ty recognize each other, truer, six of swords, it's like the movie Clueless, shit looks grim right now, <laughs> but at the end of the movie, everything is going to make sense, clarifying that, we got the full card. It's the pool card that's just being unaware. You don't know how this story is going to end. You don't know if this is going to work out or not. You don't know if they're going to call you back. You don't know if you want to go back. You don't know if you deserve what you got going on. Or you don't know if you, you know what I mean? Like, if, if it's something else. Like, man, you don't know. It's the unknown. It's the fucking unknown. All right? Unknowns are like variables in algebra. Okay? You just got to go around it. Figure out a way to really solve this shit. It's, it's a variable. <laughs> you just got to figure out what it is. You know what I mean? Sort of. Figure out what this variable is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, at the end of the day, everything going to work out. Might look like it won't, but it will. And, when, and whatever you want to work out is what's going to work out. So if you want union to happen, it's going to work out. If you want reunion to happen, it's going to work out. If you want to find your twin, it's going to happen. If you want to get out your situation, it's going to happen. You want to figure out a way that, I don't know, get from point A to point C. All starts here. Bottom line, more important than everything, you got the truth. Truth sets you free. Truth is a cat coming out the bag, being revealed. Secret being revealed. This is you keeping 100 with somebody, somebody keeping 100 with you, or you keeping 100 with your damn self. This is wearing too many hats, being too many people to too many folk. To where you don't know who you are anymore. It's the spread of yourself so thin, you ain't even got enough you for you. And that's the truth. You know, the light illuminates everything that you need to know. I mean, truth is, <clears throat> clarifying this is the nine of swords. 
I just take all this as subconscious. Not as sore as it's stress. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight, the wrong way, insomnia. You know, stress, depression. You know, being mentally clogged up. Like this is a tube. You see the sword in there, that's that's a clog. It's just too many damn thoughts. You're gonna have to dissolve some of these thoughts, clear some of these thoughts out before this nine of swords turns to the ten of swords, which is out here. And what's this? This is death or a permanent ending. Stress leads to death. Not the wound, not the infection, not the pain. Your body is built for infections. Your body is built to heal from wounds. You can literally lose a fucking arm and still be alive. You can literally walk around this bitch with one kidney. You know what I'm saying? You can. It, the human body is a wonderful thing. <laughs> ain't the physical shit that kills you. It's the mental shit that does. The subconscious mental shit. The fear, the stress, the doubt, the hurt, the pain, all that shit. Well, pain and hurt, that's the cups. Let's keep it swords. Uh, dog in the mind. What you think about, you blink about. And that's the truth. Everything that's boggling your life, masculine or feminine, it's your own mental strength. You put this shit on yourself. That's what stress is. It's something you put on yourself. Like ketchup on your fries, like salt on your steak, like cheese on your taco. You can eat shit as is. You choose to put shit on shit. Just like stress on you. And that's the truth. It's a lot of stuff going on with the masculine and the feminine. It's a lot of mental, cerebral shit going on. It's a lot of mental and cerebral shit going on. You both are being tested mentally. Like you both are praying to keep a sane mind through this episode or whatever y'all going through. Feminine, coming to the situation, you got the three of swords. This is pain going past the point of no return. Ace of Swords, that's the right way. Whether you knew it was the right way or not. Two of Swords, these are options. You can go this way, the right way, that you really don't know about, or you can try something new that you think you got a handle on. It ain't what you think is what you know. What you're going to know is that this is the right way. But we're going to get to that in a second. You try another way, you fail. You try another way, you fail. You go another direction, you fail. Everything's... It's like you can't get over it. All right, boom. It's time to go past the point of no return. For some reason, you didn't want to go the right way. This is either harder, so you try to go the easy route. This is either an uncomfortable place, so you want to be somewhere comfortable. Whatever this way is, it's pain knowing you got to go that way anyway. Like you did all that other shit just to go back this way. You just went in three circles just to come in the direction that I told you to go in the first place, whoever telling you that. You telling yourself that, a person who was trying to help you telling you shit like that. Like I say, it's a mental thing when you waste time, energy, and resources, and you feel that shit. It ain't really a cup like you feel this. It's something you register. Damn. Time wasted. Damn. Wrong way. Damn. Wrong move. Damn. Mistake. Mistakes are mental. You know if you, you know what I mean? You're going in a way you didn't want to go. Finally. It's painful. But you're going to get past it. And that's all that matters. Masculine. You come into the situation with the Four of Pentacles. What the situation is, is just the energy amongst you two. Not what you two got popping together. This is you two separate energy. What the feminine got going on is what she got going on. Masculine. What you got going on is what you got going on right now. Masculine, you got a four pinnacle problem. This has been very stagnant in your reading all week. It's some shit you need to let go. A person, place, or thing, you need to let go. If it's a person, let them go. Keep going back to them. Okay, you love them, but why do you love them? Is it their physical presence you love? Is it the comfortability you love? Is it the, you know, the, the, the partnership aspect of it you love? Like, what do you love about this? In what way? You got to have unconditional love. So whether it work out or not, it's cool, but it's a way you love this person to where you can't leave the way alone. The way is, is a pinnacle. A pinnacle could also be just an idea. An idea is, is a thing. You just have an idea or a thought of what this is that you just ain't going to let go. Truth is the bottom line. You know the truth, what this is, you know? Something you need to let go. It's been a karmic usually in your readings, but what are you letting go? Damn. Two of cups. A relationship. 
Once again, karmic demos. Masculine, leave them karmic demos. Y'all blade thirsty. <laughs> blade thirsty. You know what I'm saying? For these karmics. Leave them be. Because as you see, you're going to have a lot more shit on your plate. Like, you think this is bad? You think this shit is, 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 is wax sauce? Oh, wait till the personal shit that you got to deal with happens. Feminine. You in regards to the masculine, you got the ten of swords. This is death or a permanent ending. What's a permanent ending? That's some shit that's going bye-bye. That's some shit that ain't coming back no more. That's some shit that's done. This is like childhood. You're a grown person. The childhood, you ain't a child no more. You ain't even a teen no more. You ain't even a young adult anymore. Those times are over. You can't get that, yo, you back. What are you talking about? You can't get back some shit that's over. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like, you lost your ring. You lost your mind. It's a mind. It's a sword. Hey, some shit you just can't get back. It takes a lot to lose your motherfucking mind. I'm mean, just put it like that. But even if you find your mind, it ain't going to be the same way you used your mind before. Even if you find whatever you don't have anymore, it ain't going to be the same as it was before. So when it comes to your self-feminine, things are coming to an end. Register it, because Ten of Swords, it's a, it's a sword. Like it's thoughts, decisions, mentality. Pain is mental. Loss, permanent loss, is mental. Because you got to deal with it. You got to register it. Truth is mental. Because you register it. Stress is mental. Because that's what you're registering. You understand what I'm saying? Death is going to happen. Our end is going to happen. Let it happen. Let it happen. Let it go. Let it phase the fuck out. Okay, because guess what? Clarifying is ten of swords. We got the six of pentacles. What's the six of pentacles? That's homeostasis. Five of pentacles is failure. Five of pentacles is also going without a person, place, or thing. The the step the masculine finna get to in a second. So you still holding on. Four of pentacles, holding on, not letting go of this karmic. It ain't like she gone. You might have let go of some other shit, but you ain't let go of of, of it of the pentacle. So you're gonna have to go without. Whatever this thing you holding on to, masculine, and that's what the feminine is like already went through or is getting through right now to where your feminine gonna end up at the six of pentacles soon. This is you being okay. Five of pentacles is failure. You ain't failing. You went through that. You went without this is ten of swords, permanent ending. You're going without it. Okay? You'd be okay. Six of pentacles is a D, 60%. It ain't failure, but it ain't passing. You need to get to the Seven of Pentacles. What's that? The re re card, R E R E. Rearranging things, removing things, reselecting shit, relocating, rehash, rehab, release, reverse, renege, rearrange, reconnect, recognize, reunion, return. Re re, Seven of Pentacles, it's a C, that's passing. Passing is cool, but we need to get to a B, which is an eight of pentacles. That's a life. But you get back, feminine. This is the next card. Spoiling your reading. Eight of pentacles. We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, feminine, you're going without some shit. It's going to be okay. Six of pentacles. It's going to be okay. It ain't all, all bad, but it ain't good at all. You just, like I say, you just broke your fucking bone. You in a hospital now with a cast. You can't do what you used to do. You got to heal. It's going to take time. It's going to be an inconvenience. But, nigga, you're going to be all right. All right? We're human beings. We get through shit. It sucks, but, hey, you're going to be straight. All right? Whatever this thing you're going without. And let's just say it's a relationship with your twin flame or divine masculine some shit like that. Like some shit over with your divine masculine. Ten of swords ain't for twin flame. You ten of wand, your, your divine masculine. Uh, feminine. Or he ten of wands you. Ten of Swords only happens between twins when one of you die. Which is a possibility. Death is prevalent. I don't want to talk about that shit. But, um, you two can split. Right? And then reconnect. Four of Wands, which is union, reunion, recognition. But guess what? The, the old Twin Flame demo y'all had is over with. The old, like, he's a new person. So you trying to deal with him like he the old him? That's, that's a wrap. That's dead. You a new person. Him trying to come at you like the old person you was, that shit dead. Whatever the fuck y'all had going on before y'all stopped fucking with each other. 
that shit is dead. You know what I mean? It's gone. You can't. It's, it's over with. So, however y'all coming now, post this is going to be a new situation. If things end, then new beginnings happen. Can't even step into a new beginning without an ending. You got to end things to begin things. So, feminine shit is ending. Very mediocre. It's very wax off. But but you all right. You alive. You ain't dead. It ain't all bad. It's bad, but you'll live. Thank God this is temporary energy. <sighs> that go for a relationship. That go for your personal life. That go for your career. That's on the skids. Whatever it is, you're going to be okay. It's, it's whack, but you'll live. Okay? But these things have to be over. This shit has to be over. Because this shit don't suit you no more. And you might feel it still does. You might be holding on to whatever this is. But when God get the removing shit, I'm telling you, it shows up like this. Permanent ending. Shit that's outside of you that you really can't do nothing about anymore. Masculine. You in regards to the feminine energy in general, you got the five of wands. This is outside conflict or separation. Outside conflict or separation. Gotta pick another card. This is outside conflict, which is... Things that don't involve you unless you involve yourself in it, but why? It's trouble over there. Why go looking for trouble? Trouble eventually is going to find you. Don't go looking for a fight. Eventually, you're going to have to fight. Don't go starting shit. Eventually, somebody going to start some shit with you. You know, so, and even if they talking shit, even if they, a person don't like you and they just talking about you. Okay, they just talking, right? All right, cool. Talking our actions and shit, but they ain't put they like they ain't in your they ain't finna put their hands on you, right? Like they ain't finna be no fight, right? Like you know they ain't finna fight you. You know that it's not gonna come to that. Cause you already know what time it is with that. And I think they know too. So it's just talking that they doing. Ah, oh, okay, let them talk. They just talk. They wanna take it up a notch, then you take it there with them. Right now it's an outside conflict. Don't let what they're doing trigger you, cause they're not doing anything. Talk is cheap. I go for gossip and family. I go for, like I said, gossip at work. Okay, let my like let my fuckers can talk all day, but if my fuckers ain't coming to you correctly, like a, a mature adult, like a man, like a woman, then fuck what fuck. It's outside. Let keep that shit outside. It ain't in your shit. It ain't affecting you. Leave it be. Outside conflict, masculine. Don't let outside shit get the best of you. Clarifying that is another five of five of cups. Five of wands is also point blank separation. So masculines, a lot of masculines, not all, but a lot of masculines have been separated for so long that they've emotionally isolated themselves from their divine feminine. This is cool in the game. It's me identifying this energy because, like I said, a lot of feminines are feeling the same shit too. Masculine, this is what you got to understand. The reason why you're in separation is because that's what you wanted. You wanted your space, you got it. You wanted your feminine to chill out, she did. You created an environment. It's like a border. You created a border around yourself to where your feminine can't get near you, can't get inside, can't get access, can't get with you, to where you isolate yourself. You pushed, I told you, the most, your number one fan. Your star player, your number one supporter, you pushed them away. Then created a border for them to stay away. It took time because you know how feminines are. <laughs> Leave me alone. You still, you know, bothering them, you know, because you think it's like he playing or you think that it ain't that serious. You know how feminines be with borders in the in the beginning. It was kind of hard to keep your feminine in these borders. It was kind of like she was kind of confrontational. Y'all triggered each other in the midst that you said in these borders. Now, the dust settled, and it's like, it's it's, it's shit. It's like the walking dead. You know what I mean? <laughs> you the whisperers. Like, you them sticks. Feminine is not finna go past that. That's 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 the border. Feminine gonna keep doing what she doing. Thus leaving you emotionally isolated. Because you want actions and behavior. Created this fucking border. You're seeing the border you created with yourself with your feminine. At least you see it. <laughs> you in regards to the masculine energy. 
We got the Eight of Pentacles. This is the life. Shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, comfortable bed you're sleeping on, a job, car, children, the things you keep in your home, your comforts, your enemies. You know what I mean? That's a life. Having all that is a life. No matter what four walls you call shelter, no matter what things you have, no matter who you with, no matter what you got. I mean, it's a life. The average person don't have a life. Everything I just named, the average person don't have it. They don't have those enemies. They don't have those comforts. They don't have those children. They don't have those mates. They don't have those pinnacles. I mean, feminine. You, you want to have a life and more. Don't think about your life. Take advantage of it. Live your best life and all, but at the end of the day, you got pinnacles. So get the shift in pinnacles, invest in pinnacles, move in pinnacles, give in pinnacles. You ain't really in a position to help nobody at the eight of pinnacles. You just got your life back. Especially since you was at this six of pinnacles after this little ten of swords. You just went from a D to a B. But guess what? You still got nine of pinnacles. That's an A. Then we got ten of pinnacles. That's an A+. Plus, plus ten of pinnacles is manifestation. At a nine of pinnacles, that's a 90%. You can give somebody a pinnacle. And help them. You got a nine of pentacles. Somebody got a six. Where you was just at. They gave you a pentacle to put you at a seven of pentacles. What's that? A reread. That's giving you in a position to reorder, release, relocate. You know what I mean? So you can what? Get your life back on track. It's all stages. You know what I'm saying? Feminine. You, you're going to get your life back on track. This shit looks like it's going to happen very fast. Like you're going through fucking hell, but. The solution, the answer, the, the, um, the you know, like I say, it's, it's a fucking storm, and it's gonna hit hard. It's gonna be fucked up, but the sun gonna come out. But it's been raining like a motherfucker, so it's wet. A lot of fucking mosquitoes and shit. You just happen to be outside. It's just hell. Like once shit balances itself out, <laughs> six of Pentacles, homeostasis. The shit can start looking up. So, feminine, you just trying to get your life back. That's what it's about, your life. Not your life and nobody else. Not who's in your life anymore. It's about you and your life. What do you want out of it? What do you want? Oh, you know what you want? Okay, bet. Then cool. You straight. If you got a plan, make the moves. Right now, baby. Because... <laughs> I say, your life, Eight of Pentacles, gonna have new things in it. This is a new life. This is a second chance. This is a, a new life for a second chance. Masculine, you in regards to yourself. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, going back to your life and why it's even in the masculine energy. Masculine energy could be the many old life, the masculines in your life, divine masculine, karmic masculine, your brother and your daddy. Niece, I mean, excuse me, nephew, um, son, you know what I mean, gay best friend. It can also be the masculine energy within yourself. Like, I'm a divine feminine, but I act masculine a lot too. I got masculine tendencies like a motherfucker. I know a lot of divine feminine women. But they got a lot of masculine tendencies. They don't come out that much. It's a little dormant. You know what I'm saying? By me being a man, it's like a duck. Like I say, I'm a I'm a I'm an enigma. But that's what divine feminine men are. We enigma. Just like a divine masculine women, they're enigmas too. Like y'all, you know, it's different. Like you're a woman, but like you've embraced and like step fully into the masculine energy. And how women step into the masculine energy, you become alpha. You don't beat around butchers, you direct. You ain't emotionally clingy and you know when to disconnect. You, you know when to be cool. You know, you know what I mean? Shit that divine feminines don't do. You understand what I'm saying? Or <laughs> this is a different thing, you know? Alpha. Most divine masculine. Them females I know y'all alphas. Like a swag of a Leo woman, Sag woman, or Aries woman. 
or a Taurus woman, or a Scorpio woman, and some Aquariuses. Then women, some Aquariuses. You know what I mean? Alpha, it's a different breed. Me, I'm a divine feminine male. So what does that make me? I'm a man, but I'm more in tune with the feelings and emotions. You know what I'm saying? I'm more in tune with the with the mind, with the sword. You know what I mean? I don't have the mind state of the average man. I don't have the emotional maturity of the average man. You know what I mean? I'm a man plus more by body and the feminine energy. Women, y'all women plus more. Because like I said, these are divine masculine feminines, man. Divine masculine females, bro, like they look feminine as shit. Very feminine looking, but it ain't about the looks. Inside, nigga, they man eaters, nigga. Inside, they niggas, man. Inside, they just move different. Not unlike the average woman. Me, like I say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, that's just my outside, cuz in here, I'm a teddy bear, man. In here, you know what I mean? Like, I care. I really care. You know what I mean? I'm really in tune. Like, you know what I mean? Feminine. Inside. Masculine. Exterior, but it's what's inside that counts. I mean, being a feminine at the end of the day, it's just gonna take shit to the next level. Me even being a, a, a man that can be in the psychic community doing what the fuck I'm doing in the way that I'm doing it too. You know what I mean? Like I say, the world needs alpha women, like divine, masculine, feminine. These are the ones, these are the Joan of Arcs, nigga. These are the Angela Davises, nigga. Like, these are. <sighs> <laughs> The Nephrotides, man. These are the Cleopatras, man. Like, these are... They don't fuck around. It's just a whole new swag. So, that all I should say this. Feminine. You come to your life, all right? Really take gratitude and, like, appreciation of everything that you got. It's what's a pinnacle. It's a person, place, or a thing. This shit is going to expire. There's some things in here that ain't going to be here no more. You just lost some shit. It's the more shit you can lose. That's that's what pinnacles are. You lose them, you switch them, you subtract them, you substitute them, you watch them grow, you leave them alone. You know what I mean? Pinnacles always changing in your life. Hey, the pinnacles, life. Make sure you know that. You ain't clinging on or holding on to shit. Masculine. You regards to yourself. You got the Knight of Pinnacles. This is Brumi. Um. This is being in a position to put somebody on or the way you groom people. Three types of grooming. You got good grooming, bad grooming, ugly grooming. Good grooming is give and take. You give, they take, they give, you take. You a teacher, but you ain't too high and mighty to not learn something from your student. And your student who respects you as a teacher at least have the confidence and the notion to know that he can teach you a few things or two and you ain't finna get on some ugly grooming with him or her. Ugly grooming, that's one side. Somebody giving, somebody taking, that's it. Ain't no ain't no give back. Whoever giving ain't getting shit because it's set up like that. And whoever taking ain't giving shit back because it's set up like that. So to the giver who just wants it set up to where they just give and you take that's the sense of ugly grooming. Like it's, I guess it's good, but like, what, 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 what's, what's with the not giving? What's with the not taking? Is it because you want it set up this way? Is it easier to have it set up this way? Like, is it a thing by it being just one sided? You know what I mean? Then you got ugly grooming. Ugly grooming is manipulation. That's you making sure that you got all control over who you grooming. They can't do nothing unless. You tell them to do it. It's your way or the highway with, with, with things. There is no... You have no control. The other person has no control over the giving and taking. The giving and taking is just getting dominated and ruled by one person. And usually the ugly grooming, when it just starts off one-sided, it usually gets bad. So one-sidedness is just a sign that shit is going to get real. It's like positions of power. People... Be, they're all for the people. They're a people person and shit. People leader. They become the leader. Then, you know, 
you start to see they motherfucking like ugly side. Start to see things about them because they're comfortable. They got power. Yeah, you know I mean, they, they they doing whatever the fuck they want to do now, and then they become entitled, and then they become like insecure without this power, and then shit gets ugly. They show you they fangs. I mean, you really get to see who the fuck they really are. You know what I mean? It's all a part of grooming. Because like a, a manipulative groomer is gonna groom you through stages. You don't even know they got a plan, and they you, you in stage one, they got you. Stage two, yeah, this shit gonna be. Are you really you in stage three? Got gotcha. you. <laughs> That's bad grooming. Manipulation. Ugly grooming is just like I said. You take a lot, but you need to give more. You know you need to give more. So start giving more so you don't be comfortable just being a taker to where you're just a taker out here. A person that's given a lot. Okay, it's cool. You're giving a shit, but learn how to receive more. People should be giving you what you're giving at the same magnitude. It shouldn't be just you giving. That's time. That's energy. That's resources. Like, Motherfuckers need to kick some time, some energy, some resources back to you. If they fuck with you like that, <laughs> grooming, masculine, you just start to see what grooming is like in the real. And your tactics and how you do groom people and the way you deal with people and the way you got shit set up. Systems. You create systems for people to be in because it's easier for them to deal with them in these systems. It's just you realizing you put people in systems. This shit was all subconscious. Now you consciously starting to see exactly how you deal with people. Or your influence on people. What you know? Future final world wrapping this up. Feminine. Going to the future, you got the five of swords. This is focus. <laughs> Keep this shit sort of sweet. Hey, feminine, you're gonna go through a lot. You're going through a lot, but you're gonna it's gonna get worse before it gets better. But it's gonna get better though. It's gonna be a solution. Things are gonna work the fuck out. It's gonna take some time, but things are gonna work themselves out. Now, when they work themselves out, really focus, really focus on this shit never happening again. Not as long as you can help it. See, half this shit ain't your fault, but half this shit is. Subconsciously, your fault. The other half is the physical shit that you just ain't got no control over. Or the way your situation is set up, what you couldn't do. Things of that sort, outside of you. But majority of this shit is subconscious. Sore thing, it's a mental thing. You need to focus. I mean, don't let this situation happen again. If procrastination got you here, if, you know what I'm saying? Prolonging shit, not doing shit, not finishing something, not attempting something, not forgiving something, like whatever it is, really, when this shit is over with, really focus. Not on this situation because it's behind you. We don't want to look at, behind us. We want to look in front of us. Like, but while you're looking ahead, really focus. <laughs> On not letting this happen again. Whatever this is. Whatever this is. Final kind of message, masculine, we got the eight of cups. This shit been prevalent for I would say months. Masculines, y'all need the enterprise. Start a fucking company. Start a business. Get your own brand. Get your own product. Sell that shit. The products you buy, you can create yourself. The products you use, you can create yourself. A lot of masculines on some real Earthy shit, like buying natural products like black owned businesses or they're keeping like community owned businesses and shit. Like they trying to keep shit natural, like not buying from big companies, buying from small companies. Thus, they meeting all these people with brands and shit. It's like, motherfucker, you can have your own shit. Number one, you can have everything you be needing anyway, and you just capitalize on actually enterprising what you into or what you're doing. Like you do shit naturally. A lot of these natural things you're doing, you can capitalize off of. You're a vegan now. You're a vegetarian now. Okay. Create something for vegetarians. You know, create an app where you got all the vegetarian and vegan restaurants on tap. You know what I mean? So you know where to go. Or create your own vegan restaurant or cook your own vegan plates or some shit. Or create a whole new vegan way of cooking shit. Like, whatever. Like, you do it enough to know how to tweak shit and take it to the next level. Take shit to the next level. But this is a two-part card. It's the Titan Bell card. Enterprise is the second part. The first part is keeping your integrity up and staying divine at all times. You a divine masculine, right, masculine? I bet. Stay divine at all times. That's to keep doing you. You got a good heart. You a good person. You a loving person. Like, you a God-fearing person. You a very humble person. You know what I mean? You, you know, act your ass every now and then and shit, but you know who you are. You a good fucking dude. And you know that. You know what I mean? And keep doing that shit. Because it's going, it's going to help later. 
Man, this is integrity. That's the shit you need to work on the most. You got to keep your integrity up. Or you got to be a person people can trust. If people don't trust you, they ain't going to fuck with your business. I mean, if people like don't fuck with you, then how they going to fuck with your business? What I mean by like integrity is just tie them loose ends, man. Forgive those people you ain't forgave. Speak to them people you ain't been speaking to. Like, you ain't got a dick right them. You don't need these people. What you need is the connection. What you need is the, the bridge. What you need is like an ally. I mean, because you're going to make some moves. Like you are uh, imperial king in ancient times. You expanded your empire. But the empire next to you, bigger than you, they can just demolish your whole shit. So what do you do? You don't fuck with these people. You really hate these people, what they did to your people. But it's like, fuck it. I'm the king. Let me set up a little meeting and I'm going to meet with these niggas. We ain't finna attack y'all. We finna talk like men. And this is you putting on your best motherfucking garments and trying to be as respectful as possible in somebody else's kingdom. You despise these people. You, you hate they even got their shit set up like this. You mad you got to even talk to these motherfuckers because you really can't afford to spare no lives right now. And it's just like, you know, that going to go a long way. Dude feel the same way about you, but he looking at you like, this was wise. I think we can do more as allies than enemies. I believe you have things that we can use, and I'm pretty sure we got what you need. You know, you know we never liked you guys, right? And we know you don't like us. So this was perfect. You know, we're going to make a little peace bond. We're going to do a little trading, you know. But, uh, you know, let's try to keep it like this. Don't need no fighting no more. Like, we, we all can eat. We all can eat. You know what I mean? It's just for the sake of everybody else. That's, an, that's a good integrity move. Because a selfish motherfucker will just take over and kill and rape and pillage motherfucker. The whole village burn everything to the motherfucking ground and get it that way. It's harder going a diplomatic approach. Easy going the aggressive approach. So masculine, you usually going on the aggressive approach. Now you kind of dialing it down and getting kind of diplomatic with things. So you don't hurt yourself in the long run. So you don't burn bridges. That's the message I got. Hope I can be a good use. It's your boy, Deep Brand. If you need readings, holler at me. If you need coaching, holler at me. I'm going to definitely be around. I would advise to book as soon as possible because I'm going to stay for love. They're gone. I'm the only one, man. Love all y'all. Thank y'all for fucking with me. Shit finna get real, real quick. All right? So be ready for this little reintroduction, man. You know what I mean? Don't buy a week. Bye. <laughs>